Hey, I'm Caleb with Maine's Wood Shop, and today we're going to be making the Swedish butter knife with the Swedish breadboard. So, Swedish butter knives have been a pretty popular woodworking project for a while. From all the research I've done on Swedish butter knives, there doesn't really seem to be a set in stone like uh, this is what a Swedish butter knife looks like. All the patterns I've seen, they're all different. They're always different. Good God Almighty! That gives you a lot of creative freedom to just kind of to just kind of make whatever design you want. It makes it really easy to just kind of let your mind go crazy. So what we're going to be doing today, I have went out and I got this piece of oak, which this is going to be our Swedish breadboard. I'm going to use this piece of walnut for the knife, and what I'm going to do is it does not have straight clean edges on it so we're gonna take it to the table saw clean it up a little bit this three-quarter inch stock is a little too thick for our knife I'm just gonna rip it down draw a damn pattern on this. That easy. That's uh, that's our pattern. Now with the scramble Emma saw we can uh, cut our shape out. Now, if you had a little lumps or blade drift from your scrawl saw, don't get your dangerang in a twist. It's not that a little bit of sanding won't help. But uh, we need to put a bevel on the butter knife, or how are you going to... You can't spread nothing with that. It looks disgusting. As I've said it before, I don't have a bunch of fancy sanding crap, so we're doing it this way. I'm clamping the knife to my bench and I'm gonna take the belt sander to it and I like to go over the blade because I like the blade part to be more narrow than the handle. Alright, um, the little tip we had on the blade, I accidentally went a little overboard with the belt sander so I don't think that's gonna work so I'm gonna whip up another one of these real quick but that's a good thing is these are really easy to make so uh, alright let me give you some deets taking random orbit sander to it now to do some finishing touches we could probably finish everything with this and then the knife will be good to go Sanding is all done. You could say that this is almost as smooth as butter. I have to apologize for that. I'm sorry. Um, Josh Bergdorf, if you see this, that's for you. We're going to finish it, and we're going to finish it with just some basic mineral oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of going to lightly dump it on here, and then uh, just spread it around a little bit. Well, we can't stop there. We're still going to make the breadboard. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the length that I want this to be. Let's go to the tablet snap. And I got the idea from Wrangler Star. Put a hole, like a little finger hole, up in the corner. So I'm going to start it. That looks like where it's going to live. Yeah. 
So over here at the router table, I have a quarter inch round over bit in there and we're going to use that to clean up the hole we just drilled. So we did our round over. Now I've got a chamfer bit in there. We're going to do the, the same thing. Well, this is the one part that should really get your dang around going. Take the mineral oil to our bread block. And I'm really eager to see how this oak is going to look. Oh, look at that. You sure got it? Now for the bottom. So there you have it, the Swedish butter knife accompanied by the Swedish breadboard. And that didn't take hardly no time at all to do. It makes a good gift for friends and family and other people. Maybe, maybe a good gift for a one night stand. I don't know. That's up for you to decide. I hope you enjoyed this project and this video. If you did, please like the video. Also, you could share too if you want saying you have to if it would help also please subscribe to you know everybody the thing everybody in every video always tells you to do please please do that too and hit the little bell also so you'll be notified every time I upload a new project video I try to get one out at least once a week means woodshop is on Facebook and Instagram even though I don't post a whole bunch on either one of those Instagram more so than Facebook but you can still follow me on there too so that's cool you can you know be part of a conversation in the community and all that stuff so thanks for watching I'll see you next time